Hey guys, Cruel Blonde Wave. I'm Eric. I'm Melanie. Aaron, yeah. and we're back with The Flash. Ugh. Last episode was so good. It was. It was. Dino it's, came back. That's what I've wanted all season. Is that that? I hope you have failed this <laughs> city. I hope I don't regret and wish they would have just ended on that episode. Yep. And then I hope these last few episodes are good. Well, our editor Ultra gave me a piece of information that I think is going to help us with these last four episodes. Uh, and I think it, I think we should know this. The last four episodes are a four-part finale. Oh. Okay. So okay. from it's, here it's on, a, it's an arc. It's uh, an arc, yeah. and it's a four. It's That's supposed to be what four, I want. four parts. So I'm and not going to. Yeah. That's what I want. <laughs> so I'm going in with that expectation. I feel like that's a pretty fair expectation to have. So, right. yeah. All right. Uh, we had a talk conversation last time too about spoilers and what you should and shouldn't know. Like right now, should we have known it's a four part? Well, our editor let us know. <laughs> I feel so like it's too bad. I feel like that one's fair. Yeah. I don't but know. he didn't show us like promotional material and what the trailer is for next time and the secret guests and all that stuff. Sure, so sure, we sure. had a poll last time. Did Blind Wave convince you to stop looking at spoilers and marketing material? Four percent said I stopped looking and it sucks. Twenty-one <laughs> percent says I'm still looking and it sucks. Okay. Thirty-one percent said I'm still looking and it's great. Forty-two percent said I stopped looking and it's better. Oh wow! Okay. So we had almost up to half. I'm interested in comments of some of it to yeah, see like too. what people's thoughts are on like you know. I mean, some people just don't care. I'm still looking you know? and it sucks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We had a lot of comments. I'll try oh, to get wow. to some of the big ones here. Uh, Naruto Anime 16 really just comes in and settles the whole debate. Going in blind is the way to go. Just like when you go home to eat lasagna, do it with the lights off so you'll be surprised by the flavor. You go in, you don't know what it is. You take a bite of something. <gasps> lasagna! Yeah, what if it's a candle? Oh, it's piping hot. <laughs> you know, like... Uh, Billy B says, depends on the property. Some things are too hard to avoid spoilers for, especially like Oliver coming on The Flash. They just blasted that everywhere. That's, this, that sucks. Why would it do that? I think it depends on where you look, though, on yeah. how hard it is to avoid spoilers. And Billy B says, I can typically avoid Star Wars spoilers, though. Yeah. It just depends. It depends on what the marketing thing is trying to get. I'm glad I didn't know about the Oliver thing. Oh, that was Because I was yeah. so hyped on that. That's so mad. That was really cool. Master Octagon says, yes, I only watch uh, first official teaser and trailer now. 10,000% hate how normalized spoilers are, especially seeing things from set because people have unnecessary debates online. Yeah, yeah that's, the, that's the worst for me is when people, like, take pictures of people on set and then blast those. Like, I can understand if, like, you know, there's, like, I want to hear the story from the storytellers. And then maybe the marketing department, but never just a guy online saying something yeah. Yeah. or showing a picture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. that's why he won't eat Little Debbie's anymore. Little Debbie, I know. Oh, Walking I loved, Dead, right? I loved Cosmic Brownies. <laughs> <laughs> I did love those too. <laughs> did your mom used to give you zebra cakes? Yeah. Cosmic Brownies? Yeah. This guy's dead. No! <laughs> Bud Walker says, I stopped looking for stuff. I only watched the episode previews once just because I watched Riverdale that comes on after. Mm. By the time the new episode comes on, I've completely forgotten what it's about. See, Aaron, you can relate with that. I've done that a time or two. I've done it a million times. <laughs> That's probably me, just forgetting about it. You forget things. I forget all everything. The time. Oh, she once That's got so mad bad. at me for watching a movie with my ex girlfriend or whatever, and I'm like, "What? We were together. We saw it in theaters." <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Don't you I didn't get in get trouble mad. for something that you did in your dream? I wasn't mad. <laughs> I hate when that happens. In the dream. Like, you, probably, you probably watched it with your ex. He got mad at me for slapping him in my dream. <sighs> no, you slapped me in bed. I was asleep. <laughs> she was dreaming. She was just like, bam. Oh, that's funny. I woke myself up. And then I got you in trouble. She's like, why'd you do that? Marcus DeBoss says, ever since I started watching Blind Wave with their Arrowverse and Shield reactions, they have convinced me that it's much more rewarding with the person uh, when the person watching has not had a single damn clue what they're in for, and it makes for good reactions. That's another reason why I've enjoyed the various reactions over the years, because they are uh, assuredly genuine. With that being said, spoilers are nearly inevitable, so the only thing I knew about this episode... <laughs> the only thing I knew about this episode was Oliver, Diggle, and Bloodwork coming back. But wow. with no context. I am slightly bothered that I couldn't avoid everything, but I knew they would promote the hell out of this. Uh, so it is what it is because the episode was amazing. It's a lot of things. 
that's, sure. the, that's like everything that we got so hyped sure. for. I think the episode was really good. I wonder if like people that all knew everything, if they still were as hyped for it and mm-hmm. enjoyed it as much. Um, which, I mean, it's hard to measure, like, how much did you enjoy this episode, you know? True. Did I enjoy it as much as Eric enjoyed the last episode? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, Fro says, I don't watch Flash, but I love the question, because I stopped looking as, uh, as, as, at as much marketing as I could, and I've enjoyed everything even more because of it. Ever since I felt I saw too much before Gun's Suicide Squad, also it helps because I forget that something is coming out, then all of a sudden, it's next week! Yeah. yeah, there's been some ones where, like, I think Suicide Squad and also um, Batman v Superman, that, like, the trailer and the marketing stuff gives away too much to where you, like, you might have a surprise of, like, villains at the end and stuff, but mm-hmm. you lose it from the trailer, and it's like, that's, why are you showing that part, <laughs> you know? And it's because they want butts and seats. Brandon says, I want to look at the trailers you guys see. That's their marketing material. <laughs> Some, sometimes I don't even want to watch those, but I, I do it I do it for 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 the viewers. Yeah. Because otherwise sometimes we just wouldn't have anything. Well, we gotta like let people know that we're interested in a thing too, right? Sure. They're not gonna just come out and try to find episodic reactions. Sometimes it's also things trailers. where I'm like, I don't know, maybe if we should gauge our interest. Yeah. Like Gran Turismo. Like I'll watch that trailer, see yeah. what it's like. Mm-hmm. Is this something I'm interested in? I don't know. I know it's a very nuanced conversation, you know, like there's levels of what you can and can't avoid avoid, you know, like the internet is just so saturated. Like I can unfollow <coughs> everything to do with the CW and the Flash and everything, and have so much content I still can't look at it all, right? But there's some stuff you just like. Apparently, one person said that they were spoiled because Stephen Amell himself tweeted it out. Oh, you know, which how you gonna how do you know that you're trying to avoid spoilers from somebody that it's a surprise they're gonna be on a thing, you know? Sure. So I get it. I had heard that Steven didn't want it to be out, but then they had put it out, so then yeah. he had, I think he had also been like, gotcha. all right, well, I guess if they're putting it out, then yeah. I'll announce it. So I understand the inevitability that like sometimes you're gonna be spoiled, but uh, what I, at the very least, if, if our words can affect anybody, it's like, try not to go looking for it. Sure. There's a reason it's called spoil. <laughs> I have a solution for you all. Have four kids. You have no time for the internet. We're looking at any of this stuff. It's true. That's all you gotta do. I, I wouldn't do Pop that. Pop out four. I don't know. Aaron, you say yes? I don't think the balance... Do that! <laughs> Kyum. She makes purple flowers? I don't know. It's just who I'm going to. Blue it's flowers. bluish colored and it's nature. <laughs> they look very fibrous, though. Like fake flowers. Nope. Jump. Nope. Not jump. Uh, no. The other captain? <gasps> No. It is! Eddie? I think it's Eddie! Seriously? It looks like Eddie's hands are I think it's Eddie! And those flowers are blue! Cobalt blue. Yeah! <laughs> really? Is, wait, is he in Joe's house? Yeah, that's their house, yeah. This could be another world, right? Oh. We established that. Look at this building, Mercury Labs. Mercury. They don't have a hole in their roof. <laughs> no, that was in the side. Didn't you see it? Wait, yeah. so then... Now that I... Yeah, that's definitely... I think it, Right? 100%. Lawn. And he showed up... Parted. He showed up earlier in this season, right? He did. Is it the same actor? It is. Yeah. How can you guys tell just by the shoulders? Look at his hair! I don't know. <laughs> I just can. I'm quite certain it's him. I'm a diehard Sharks fan. Yep. So it's, <laughs> uh, it has to be a different world. Yeah, he's a doctor. Thanks. I looked That's for great. it all morning. I'm so happy. 100% they spoiled that last week. He hasn't changed a bit <laughs> in, what, eight years? Uh, <laughs> Do- yeah. Dr. Eddie. Eddie Thon. So... Hmm. We might be finally getting it. Man, my Keown thing was way off. But I, I saw I knew where you were going. <laughs> Who's he married? Oh! Yeah! <laughs> New world! Okay. A new That's world. pretty. Uh, that music. Yeah, that was, was you know so, like, I don't think we needed the editor spoils. I think we would have figured out. Was all. <laughs> Perfectly. What? No. I guess. Is this her costume? I feel like Rainbow Bright. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay. Yeah. No. I see that. I see. Is she supposed to fight in this? This is. Uh, a, a, he is a poor Cisco replacement in this regard. You know. Um, Cecile is away with Joe and Jenna. Mm-hmm. Do you want to come over to the house and help me take this off? Help me take this off? <laughs> <laughs> right, cheer up a man. 
Yep. (laughs) (laughs) And remember, even though we knew this was coming, you earned this. I'm gonna call my dad. I'm gonna finish installing these. What is it? I don't know. Oh! What the heck? Well, what the heck happened? It's like blue shackles. It's cold. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> you know, some kids watch this being like, what's that? What is it? Is tech really far behind in this world? Is it gonna crank their cars? What? Oh, 2000. 2000. 2000. What did I do this time? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, he blames himself. <laughs> The year 2000? In the year 2000. So he's not in New World, he's just in the same world back in 2000 now? Y2K. (laughs) Soft landing. Luckily. (laughs) What what did that say? Gamby? No, it didn't, did it? I think it did. I didn't even read it. Gamby Cleaners? Is that what it said? That's from Black Lightning. Mm -hmm. Uh Uh-huh. I just thought of something. If I do or say the wrong thing, everything could change. But officer, I... I think I just got what you got. Did you get what I got? Yep. Damn. Oh, I know. You guys are killing me. Catch don't, don't tell her. <laughs> I need to know the truth. Who are you? Okay. <clears throat> My name is... Oh. <laughs> now he found out too, Aaron. It's the day. It's the day. No, oh. not that day. There was a flash there. Not Remember? that day. Remember? No. Yep. Yep. They're connecting it back together. And that flash no longer exists anymore. Uh, I get it. It'll be interesting what they do. Hello? Professor Stein. <sighs> the, um, oh. You don't know me. Yet, but, um, I need you to listen. Who is this? My name's Barry Allen. God damn. I'm from the future, and I need your help. Franking a physics expert with time travel. Who put you on? <gasps> no! It's ship! I know about your research into quantum anomalies. I'm hanging up. Uh, sure. Have a nice day. This is terrible. Okay. I like that he went there. <laughs> I hate this episode. This is their last day. Man, he already dealt with all this. He has to deal with it again. He looks just like my father. <laughs> oh, this is great. Because of timeline changes and crisis, this has never happened yet. Yeah, in our... I suppose so, right? Yeah. They're in the cabinet in a bag, but listen, you need to stay put so we can examine you. Thank goodness you're okay. Uh, sorry, this is uh, my wife, Nora. She was with me at the scene of the accident. Mm. Uh, no, I appreciate all this. I can't be here. I mean, you don't have to tell us anything you don't want to. But just know that right now, in this moment, you're not alone. God, this is so good. There's everything Barry wants, you know? Uh. What in the world? No. What's that? Don't touch, touch. Good cop. <laughs> Joe's a good cop. No! Joe. Joe. That sucks. Do you have some place to stay tonight? You shouldn't be alone. Of course. Stay at our house. Man, they're so nice. This man's almost in my car. They took him to the hospital with a fed. They're gonna take him home. 
Don't they have a kid at home? <laughs> they have him at home. I, <laughs> you could ever know. I'm sorry. No, I... Bart. Why would you bring a stranger home? Take care of whatever you have a kid. I have a good feeling about him. Like oh, they ate all the pizza, at least. <laughs> yeah. Of course you could eat two full pizzas. <laughs> Just knowing what's going to happen. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's going to be the man, too, Aaron. Somebody's <laughs> oh, having a bad day. Sweet. What are we doing in the year 2000? Cut the crap. I know you it's brought me here. Um, no. I didn't. What? Well, then. I guess that makes our meeting just a case of right place, right time. Huh? What? Oh, Flash. You guys work together? That'd be great. We are going to have the most wonderful day. <laughs> <laughs> There's one last thing. I want to hear you say it, Barry. Say it. You win. I can't stop you. Delicious. <laughs> it's like the Dean and Community. Uniforms. <laughs> Ever since they passed, I've never stopped wondering what I would give to have them back for just one more day. You can tell us. I'd say your love made me who I am. I know your parents would have loved that. I'd have no doubt. Whoever they are, they're proud of you, son. Whatever's affecting me, it, it could be affecting you also. Maybe that's why you're remembering things. Barry, I know what happens today. Because I've been waiting for it since the dawn of time. The dawn of time. Negative speed force. You're the new avatar? That's impossible. Joe doesn't hate me. No, I'm not the avatar. You killed him, remember? <laughs> I'm the real oh, deal. Uh, speed force? Just non negative, negative speed, speed force? No, shut up. And die. Oh, it's like shiv or something. We have a code green. Evacuate all patients, visitors, and hospital personnel in that order. Understood? Oh yeah, Doc. The most calm response we've seen. Joe gets to be the bad guy. Dude, you want to come That's back for a last couple, couple, couple episodes? Make it sweet. Come on, stay calm. Who's in charge here? Dr. Rachel Rosso, Chief of Surgery. Doctor, I felt like a damn earthquake. It started with an electrical surge throughout. Russo, isn't that Bloodworks' name? It's his mom, maybe, right? The one who passed? With LH, HLH. You gonna run away to save Mama and risk losing everything by altering the timeline, including little Nora. He's so good. That, that was a Vader moment, Luke. Show yourself! Y'all alone?
He's what caused Joe's back pain. Aww. Aww. Little kicky baby. <laughs> Just happened. I don't know, but I think Barry connected with the Speed Force, maybe. Kicked it out of Joe. But his hands aren't going. Uh huh. What the hell? Oh. Now a Barry. Run, Barry! Run! Uh. Run, Barry! Run! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's like this. Run it. He's in a suit. <laughs> oh wait. Oh, is this? You know, it's gotta be him, right? That's what this is all about. You win one battle. I love these shots when it's on the. Not the war between us. Neither so of us cool. can do that. But if you don't walk away tonight, you will lose everything. Don't you know who I am? I have always been the hero. You're the villain, Flash. The villain. You're the one who reversed my entire life. Reversed my life. And that's why you die tonight. By my hand. Season one. <laughs> Look at the suit. <laughs> the old suit. Mom! There it is. <laughs> and it's slightly different, but it has to be. <laughs> it's so good. was gonna happen and now I'm stuck here he tried to save you and this night tortured me for decades not anymore because today I got to see my parents one last time feel how much they loved me this is the worst night of your life I know it and today brought me the peace I've been looking for ever since. It's the same night. And I'll always be grateful. <laughs> he must be like, what? <laughs> what the hell's going on? Man, he's been screaming no to Sky a couple times tonight. And well deserved. Oh, man. And then he does oh, is it over? That's it. That's part one. Eddie. Why they call it the blues. <laughs> yellow, That's red, and blue. Uh, There's like yellow and red over here, and then blue over here, and those chemicals. <sighs> he woke up faster, though. Yeah, he was in a coma for <clears throat> like a month or something, wasn't he? A couple of months. It was a while. Classic. Wow, is it all electrified? Who the hell is Eddie Thawne? Who the hell are you? What's his name? Oh, okay, that's a... That's a... That's a hell of a thing. Oh, I'm so happy when I can be excited to talk about Flash. I don't know why I bother wearing makeup. <laughs> I swear. Such a waste of time. I mean, for uh, half the season, nothing had emotion. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, like, I needed those lows to feel so incredibly high right like, oh now. <laughs> to have the reconnections with, like, um, 
his mom and his dad and stuff and yeah. giving him a chance making that day to, a good day. to say like like there's it, it's, a, it's a weird thing because I feel like these people are just very very generous but yeah. also can just fit in with like these are just good people who just cared well they also and said they, they felt a connection to like sure like yeah. father and stuff yeah. but like if you just pick like a random person to yeah. like oh man you help them on the street like you probably don't get that kind of stuff I wish we but had more people like that I love them being like you can you know what would you, what would you tell your parents and you like can he's tell us. telling his parents like, while telling his parents and know. stuff and like it's just nice for him to have like he said like thank you you know that you have helped me with this yep it's been a great this experience is what he needed. for him, you know. Like Especially like, on the eve of, or eve, but on the cusp of having his own family. Sure. You know? Yeah. And it loops back around to, like, when we saw that other flash, he was like, no, nah, don't do it. You yeah, know? and, and like, well, what? there's so much to unpack there, right? Because in season one, you know, and, and with all that. Was it one or two? It, it was, was two, right? Well, it's happened a couple of times we've gone back. Sure. True. But the flash that stopped him originally would have been the original Flash before Thawne changed the timeline. Thus, that Flash no longer exists. Thus, this Barry replaces that Barry. Right? It's not a circle. It's a loop-de-loop. Or because Thawne gets stuck in time and then creates a new timeline by having Flash be created early. Right? He does the particle accelerator early. Earlier than it used to be. And that Barry doesn't mm-hmm. exist anymore. I mean, you could say that. You can because it's a different suit too, right? Like the I suit guess, we I originally saw the suit was the different. season. It was a season one suit, but it was brighter red and it had the white emblem. But here sure. we got the spandex suit. Sure. So it's it's we're not seeing it again. We're seeing a new well, version of it. We could happening. also be seeing like the crisis version, right? Where it's like a lot of that stuff could have all been removed, deleted, sure. and whatever because of however crisis operated with it yeah. too. Because in theory, Flashpoint yeah. doesn't happen for this world because <laughs> yeah he didn't go and do that. Or it always happened because Crisis is like, well, he did do that, you know? Yeah. It's, there's like I, a weird wiggle room within that. Yeah. I, I need to know what's going on with Eddie and whatever this is, this new Who's Flash Eddie? thing. I feel Who like he is. But I feel Eddie? like he might be some type of like course correction from the Speed Force or something. I'm not really sure yet. Maybe. Like something placed Barry here on this day, you know? Well, that was the negative Speed Force, though. Yeah. I'm just saying, right? like, but like, why specifically? Like, is there going to be like a greater meta reason that he just so happened to be able to fit into a spot that that Flash no longer exists, you know? And now he's here for it. Hmm. That Which, Eddie's here for it? No, that Barry is here to replace a Flash that no longer exists in the timeline. Oh. Hmm. I don't know, maybe. I mean, I thought it was like... Like, he effectively told that Flash not to save his mother, you know, like, doing the same thing that another version of himself did. The only real difference we have is the suit, and then that Flash was vibrating, you know, and Barry wasn't here. So, like, we had three Flashes here, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's the one fighting Thon, yeah. mm-hmm. which is from... The one fighting Thon is the original Flash whenever he was created in... 2020 or whatever it was supposed to be. The one from the future. Yeah. And then we have the one from season two. Then Thon and then goes back, the kills the mother, and then accelerates the timeline, creating the barrier that we know. Sure. And now the barrier that we know, who has gone through, he's also gone back to that day a couple times. Uh, crisis has happened. Flashpoint, has ha- Flashpoint, crisis, all that stuff has happened. But in terms of Barry's own continuity of self, he still needs somebody to go back and stop him. Sure. Yeah. Which is, you know, like we get to see our Barry do that, which I think is an important well, cause part before point, we end the show. The one that was there in that room was coming there to stop the events entirely, mm-hmm. right. which would change a lot of stuff. Yeah. So it's like, no, you have to let this happen. Yeah. So. Yep. No, it's uh, I, it's I a think, little convoluted, but I think it all kind I of. I think just Eddie sit, is from another place. world. I think yeah. he has to be. Like, he's a doctor. Apparently, he's not Eddie Thawne. Like, mm-hmm. he could be. Did we see a name on that badge? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Not that I noticed. Mercury Labs and it's covering up. Yeah, I can't tell. Whatever's on the bottom there is probably not his name, I suppose. (laughs) Yeah, I know. What's it say there? Gilmore. Gilmore. Yeah, I think so. Gilmore. Like a Gilmore girl? Like a Gilmore girl. Well... I'm so glad we have autofocus. Maybe not a Gilmore girl. <laughs> but I think it says Gilmore. It could say Kilmore. But like right here, there's more. Yeah, I can see the more. And there's like IL here. Mm-hmm. And like he doesn't move his fingers. So I don't think we get any more than that. And then it's all. Maybe. 
Because, like, it, it gives you the face a little bit there, and then they zoom into that face. But, like, the focus is just... I see this on TV all the time. Enhance! That's not how it works. <laughs> Enhance! <laughs> all right. So here's the image. It looks like a different word, and then another word says more. So I can take that Because there looks like such a gap for that more. Here. Gilmore. One hundred percent Gilmore. That's a Gilmore. Details up the Malcolm? sharpening. Malcolm Gilmore. Maybe. O L M. I don't know what else. What other name ends with a O L M? Yeah. O L M Gilmore. Malcolm is a good bet. Enhance. I don't know who a Malcolm Gilmore would be. I'm gonna write that down as a possibility. Could be Falcon. Falcon Gilmore. That doesn't end with an M. <laughs> Falcon. Fal <laughs> All right. Well, I'll underline these as being right. Mm, but it. I think another world we established last time, mm -hmm. right? That now they do know that there are More other Earths, Earths yeah. and stuff that we can Thank go to. Thank you to the Nia episode, right? Well, no, mm -hmm. not that one. I mean, uh, Oliver Queen. Is uh -oh. like, he yeah. said, like, when I created Earth Prime, I created something else. So... He okay, so you're saying that he's from another Earth. I think and so. And then was brought to this Earth. I don't think he's brought to this Earth. Well, because at the he's end, on his he's... Earth. Okay, so he, was are the, you thinking he's in 2000? Was the file brought to? I think his some, Earth. Someone brought the file to him. Okay. Because mm. like it was electrified. Yeah. There and I don't think it was like he had it. I think it was brought and delivered to him. Yeah. That's my thought. Okay. Because I agree. Why else would he have the file in his office? Is this a red herring? Because they gave him yellow lightning. Did they? Yeah. The or is end. it just that that's what was still kind of trickling through? That's, that's a possibility, but I, I wonder if... Because the envelope also had lightning, yeah. and I don't think it has powers. What if, like, part one, reverse flash, part two, zoom, part three, you know, we go through, like, <laughs> the greatest speedsters in Barry's life or something. I don't know. At least <laughs> I'm, four. I'm trying to think there's of four different... episodes, right? Yeah, there's four <laughs> total. But I'm trying to think of, like, different ways this, what this could be or something. When I have to see Blue Lightning, I think of Zoom, of course, but there's other characters that have Blue Lightning. Sure. Cobalt Blue, Eddie Thawne, has been a thing since the very beginning. And there everything's very Blue-wise, so I think that having that... It's, it's one of those uh, bookends, I think, where mm -hmm. we had that at the end of the first season, and people were like, oh, man, maybe he doesn't die, and he turns into Cobalt Blue, and mm -hmm. whatever else, and maybe you bring that back in here at the end of the series to kind of, like, cap off... Or to be a sequel hero, in a mm -hmm. way. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. a passing of the torch or something like that. Oh, that'd be cool. Where it's like, well, now he will be the Flash or whatnot. Because uh, Oliver also talked about how like there's tons of other Flashes out there. It's like, but I've never been more impressed with them as I have you, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. But that doesn't mean none of them are suitable to not be a hero or anything. Like, they're all probably good heroes, too. <laughs> or a lot of them are. Talking about the blue thing. I just it just now clicked. Cecile saying, "I feel the blues radiating from you today," mm -hmm. like to Joe, no, and I'm like, "Oh, that's, wait a minute!" <laughs> right on the nose, isn't it? It really <laughs> was. I didn't yeah. catch that either. It could be a past connection thing, and she has that weird empathy thing, and maybe it's messing with stuff too. Perhaps I just thought I was referring to him singing. Oh, but yeah, sure. Because, but it's funny. As soon as we saw like feet and somebody singing, I was like, Joe. Yeah. He likes to sing. He's good at it. But nope, it was Eddie. I didn't think the His feet looked partner. like Joe's feet. No. Yeah. I don't know what it was about him. I'm like, that's not Joe's feet. Mm -hmm. But I was like, who could it be? And I'm like, Blue. And I'm like, maybe it's going to be Eddie. But why mm -hmm. is he in Joe's house? <laughs> but it's because that's, it's I think it fits in with the different world, right? Yeah. He's in Joe's house. He goes to Mercury Labs. He's yeah. a doctor instead. Like, there's different things that just seem very different he for this He was engaged to Iris. Well, he, he was. But I'm just saying, like, there's like he's like the alternate Flash in a way, not yeah. reverse alternate. Sure, yeah. <laughs> just like another, in another world, yeah. he could have been Flash. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So I'm curious to see what a new world pertains to, because we also had the Cobaltish thing being like, you know, creating mm -hmm. a new world that he wants to destroy the Flash because it's yeah. the negative Speed Force. It's not like an Avatar. It's the negative Speed Force mm -hmm. possessing. Yeah, which people. is yeah. creepy. Yeah. So much power. I liked seeing Joe as a bad guy, though. It was kind of fun. Yeah. yeah and he, hearing that voice. His voice is really good for it. Mm -hmm. yep. Sometimes they go a little too hard on the voices, but I think that guy knows how to be subtle. A little more subtle. All right. Well, I say we jump into some Q&As because I want to see what people were talking about this episode. But I'd also like to see if that was really Gamby Cleaners or not. On that one oh, yeah, that's right. Sure, I have the laundry man thing, too. 
I also thought it was cool to have the Russo connection. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I hope. Well, I guess we won't see more of that, huh? Um, no, I think it was just like a nod towards it. Gambi, Gambi cleaners. cleaners, laundry and dry, cleaning, 24 hour drop off. It's like a franchise. Because <laughs> it's in the. Uh, would they say New York at one point? They said about they have great New York pizza. That's okay. Gotcha. At the yeah. Zataras. So there's a Gambi's at, in Central City? They have a Gambi. In the year 2000. They have a Zatara. Mm. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Zatara pizza. Uh, all right, well, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure a lot of these that we already kind of covered some of this stuff, but we'll try to get to everybody. Jacob Young, we're going to start with. So, is this Eddie on our Earth, uh, on our Earth alternate future, or is he from another Earth? And what do you think the overall end game is going to be? I don't know about the end game. I tend to go alternate Earth. That's uh, my thought. That's usually the go-to. Um, the alternative is that rather than him being struck by lightning in the same way the flash is it yeah. is the negative speed force but it's all yeah. red not blue mm -hmm. so i don't know I don't specifically the negative speed force because i could see the negative speed force is looking for an avatar yep. that attaches to eddie cobalt blue and uses him yeah. you know it does that but i don't speed know speed force negative speed force always using Bar barry's parental figures as avatars yeah i know right <laughs> i did so like mean. i did like whenever the tachyon stuff happened and the lightning was hitting eddie the chemicals in the background of it were like it's like a red and a yellow that are really close together that start floating yeah. and then off mm -hmm. to the right of the shelf is a uh, is a blue liquid mm. I just thought it was kind of cool like right here yeah and no, I see it you know yeah. like yellow and red are really close yeah. and then blues over here <laughs> yeah they're literally separated by a division yeah, yeah. I just thought it was interesting. I feel like that was there on purpose, which is why I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I, I will say, I thought the cinematography was elevated this episode, especially in a lot of the dialogue scenes, like the the shots that were chosen when they're in the bar. Compare that to every other episode that's had the bar scene. It's just and, them at the counter. Yeah, but like the choices of, you know, generally whenever you have just like a, you know, a two-thirds headshot, you have the character on this side looking this way. That way all the extra room is in front of them. But... All the extra room was behind them. There's nothing between these two, you know? I really, or, yeah, there's nothing to come between these two is what I mean in those shots. I thought it was really, really cool, really good choice, really easy to do, but the Flash doesn't often do the easy thing to do, you know? But that was really good. Uh, James Wallace says, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but it feels so good to have the old theme song from season one back. Blake Neely really committed with his work. Yeah, the music throughout was really good, but yeah. especially seeing, uh, you know, there was a part of me that kind of wished we got to see a little extra of the fight between Flash and Reverse Flash from that original pilot. Um, but it was, it was still, I mean, the season one, they spent so much money. That still looks better than everything they've ever done. <laughs> Everything? Pretty good. It's it, it's pretty I mean, solid. I, say, I would say it looks pretty good. I, I think it's some of the, everything they've I would say I think it's some of the best speedster fighting from the point of view of someone that's not a speedster that they've ever done. Generally they just kinda of run around real quick and throw stuff at each other. But that one like had like there was a lot of a lot of like character into the camera movements that I feel like, well, you really do that when you haven't established a, a visual language because it's the first thing you've done, you know? And uh, I think who did they bring in to do the pilot too? There's like the guy that like he does pilots, and he always brings something really special to specific pilots. I can't remember his name though. I think he did that the Flash, a director. Anyway, I I don't know. There's something about those shots, that cinematography, especially the visual effects that they had uh, in that first thing. I was like, oh man, it'd be cool to see this again or see more of it, I should say. Uh, but we didn't. But it's still really good. April J says, hey guys, love your channel and started to watch you guys due to your great Flash reactions. Mm -hmm. Joe is one of the best dads on television, in my opinion. Yeah, he is. My question is, uh, what is your favorite Joe West scene of the entire series? Oh. There's so many good ones. Man, um, I don't even know. I, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to forget whatever the best one I is. I think my favorite was right after the Flashpoint. Whenever I forget what the conversation was, but Joe and Barry just had a good like sit down and talk and mm -hmm. just like good one on one. And I just remember bawling my eyes out mm -hmm. and just like I can't watch this anymore. I and mean, usually those are the best like, ones I feel like is when Joe's just talking with Barry or Iris or whoever it is, Wally even, where it's like yeah. he's imparting wisdom. Not even that the fact that he's like a police officer doing like 
whatever, you know? Yeah. Like, some of my favorite moments from other characters would be like, oh, I love this fight moment when they showed up and did this. But yeah. lots of times I just love when Joe's just, just talking. Just talking. Mm-hmm. You know? He's such an amazing man. That voice and everything, yeah. that compassion, it just all radiates through. And oh, I love the, uh, the singing crossover and stuff where you mm-hmm. have Joe, like, Joe and Stein. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Which it was cool to have Stein just uh, as a voice even. It but was cool. Being Absolutely. back involved in it a yeah. little bit. Victor Garber. Uh, I'd agree with, I'd specifically go down to the Joe West and Wally West stuff. Just because uh, it's, it was such a breath of fresh air to see Joe not be the perfect dad. Right? Like, he, like not coming from a place of being able to be supportive and stuff because he had already... I mean, it wasn't his fault, but his like, kid he started up, that he relationship there, not right? as a support, right? That was a detriment. Yeah. So I really like seeing him vulnerable like that. Yeah. I wonder if this will be the last we see Joe. If it's like you show up here, you do the Cecile thing mm-hmm. in the future, and now, okay, that's where they are this weekend. We go to the sure. past, we see Joe here in the past, and then now we've left, we go somewhere else, and we might not have Joe. But he came back one more time to be a bad guy. He did. The Jamie is starting their own thing here. Hey guys, for the final four episodes, I thought it would be cool to have a countdown of questions each week based on the Arrowverse. Hmm. So week one question is, pick one character in the Arrowverse that you would want to be. You would have all of the ups and downs of that character. So you gotta pick one character you would want to be. Snow. <laughs> Caitlyn Snow, or like all all the Snows. Yeah, I mean, Keon <laughs> apparently go-to. has like multiple abilities, and she can go under doors. She didn't have to go through puberty. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's too. not too that's bad. That's nice. You know. <laughs> <laughs> um, man, I don't know. Uh, Oliver Queen would be cool. I love his uh, fighting prowess and his money. <laughs> and his money. Like he, has, he has a ton of money, you know? <laughs> yeah. He's also with Felicity. Maybe not as five years in hell. But oh, Elongated yeah. Man could be really cool. Elongated Man? Right? Yeah. Like, to be able to, like, turn your body to look however, like, yeah. you can kind of, like, blend in wherever you want to go or disappear. It's true, true. And, like, yeah. you're almost invulnerable, you know? Like, that's kind of cool, yeah. too. Parachute your way down. Yeah. Like, you can do whatever you want. That'd you know cool. who has a good, I mean, not, you know who has a good life now is... The original Harrison Wells, who became like a time traveling guy that just gets to like sure. live his happiness years over and over again with his wife. Sure, that's who we should have went to. Well, I thought for a Joe. moment that we might go see yeah. Wells um, because it would be like Wells, yeah. Wells too, not Wells, Don yeah. Wells. Sure, but we didn't do that either. We did not. Which, in theory, he would be here, right? Be. Like it would be that one here, right? He would, or is he stuck a little bit further? Well, ahead? he w- would be here. I, I don't know if he would have like Star Labs and stuff yet, because we still have another what ten years before that happens. Star or, Labs uh, itself, fourteen years, right? It happened well, in two thousand fourteen. The particle explosion. The particle explosion. But like, yeah. when did they start a Star Labs before? I have that, no idea. Know? Like, I, don't, I, know I don't know if it's fourteen years, but it is possibility that he's around. But you should still be able to, no matter where you are in the timeline, contact. The Harrison Wells that had been revived and is throughout all of time. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But I don't know how you do that exactly either. Maybe you can't if you're stranded somewhere. I'm not really sure. Josh Smith says, okay, I'm a bit confused. Because originally it was never our Barry that stopped himself in season one. It was original timeline Barry who became the Flash in 2020. But also, shouldn't there be like two or three other speedsters there that night because of Flashpoint? I don't know. Maybe it was Crisis. Yeah. Crisis is always the answer of, like, it, smooth over any potholes. It's a thing of, like, in Crisis, like, did yeah. Flashpoint occur before? Has it always occurred? And mm-hmm. in which ways would it have occurred? Yeah. Yeah. But, so. yeah, I think it still makes sense that someone needs to be there to tell season one Barry, you can't do this. Right? Which creates the, the opportunity for Wells to do the big thing in the sky and, not Wells, Thawne to do the big giant thing in the sky that sucks up Ronnie. Oh, right? Yeah. We lose Ronnie. Right. And then Eddie kills himself, which flattens out Thawne's lineage, except for the ones that are in the timeline. It's really confusing. It, yeah. I'm sure I'm wrong. <laughs> but I, I do like that the bookend is Barry season one, I need to go save my mom. Barry season nine, I've made peace with it. 
Sure. Right? And I literally tell myself from season one, don't do this. Don't do this. You need to not do this. Versus some arbitrary future flash that we don't really know about. Mm Mm-hmm. No, I think it's a good thing to go back and recover. Mm -hmm. Uh, Master Pink says, I screamed so loud when I heard Stein's voice. Uh, (laughs) Were you hoping to see him this episode and maybe uh, for him to say his famous catchphrase, stick to things? Because I was. I mean, I'm always excited to be able to just see some old members of the Flash team or Legends team or any of that. Like, it's just cool to have them involved. Even if it's just for a scene, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah, I would have loved to have seen him. Stein was, like, one of my favorites, so I would have loved to have seen him. But if all we can get is, like, calling Victor and being like, hey, we'd love to have you somehow in the finale of The Flash, well, I'm not available, but I can do a line. Yeah. And this is great. I'd rather that than nothing, right? <laughs> How dare you torture a physicist with time travel? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't funny. Yeah. <laughs> I figured, tell, like, I like that Barry, like, figured, well, I can tell him because he, like, knows this stuff. He mm-hmm. wouldn't think it's theoretical, but still, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, we'll end with Logan Britton, who says, with us going all the way back to the origin of The Flash this episode, now seems like an appropriate time to ask, what was your favorite version of The Flash suit in this show? Oh. While I really like the current suit, I think season four suit was my favorite. And season four suit is the more, like, yeah, leather. leather. Uh, look, but a little more streamlined. Doesn't have the new ears or anything, but that's got to be squeaky, yeah. you know, like oh, yeah. such a noisy suit. I, I honestly, I think it's my favorite Flash suit is his current suit, but I do not like the reverse Flash version of the current suit they had Tom <laughs> Cavanaugh wearing. I really like this reverse Flash suit that they have uh, yeah. on uh, Captain Love here. <laughs> I can't remember his name right now, but he played Captain Love in the Mask of Zorro. I think I like the current one the most, yeah. trying to look at these. Mm-hmm. The things I like a lot is like, like the last one is similar, but they don't have, they don't have the little like yellow yeah. ridges mm-hmm. and stuff. Also the chin strap was gone in the last one and he just had like a weird yeah. kind of like helmet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah the other ones are very leathery, yeah, but. You don't always really see the feet in that one, but I mean nothing beats the gold boots of the current Flash. Suit. Sure, I do like the boots yeah. too. So yeah, I'd probably say the current one's my favorite. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I think the current one would be the easiest to work in, but I kind of like the first the first suit still. Yeah. Hmm. Like I like how dark it is and deep it is. The belt's very simplistic. It has lots of details, but lots of simplicity. So. Yeah. The only thing with the flash suits that always get me is that when you put the mask on, like it has a very specific way it looks good on the face, but as you're filming. 12 hours a day, 13 hours a day. I don't know how long they go, but it's pretty demanding. Like, that stuff moves around. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you get weird shots where it's, like, off-center. I just want to be like, (laughs) you know? (laughs) Um, That didn't tend to happen that much with the old leather cow. But, one, I know that Grant Gustin has said the new one is just so much more comfortable and easy to get on and off. And, two, I just, I don't know, it makes them look a little thinner, leaner. Uh, not so kind of like bulked up, you know. Yeah. Even the reverse yeah. flash in this one, you kind of look a little bulked up with all that leather kind of like. He did. Yeah. Know? Yeah. And when they were standing there talking to each other, I'm like, his suit just looks weird and uncomfortable. Yeah, I mean, it's Whereas, like Barry's looks yeah. more comfortable and better. Yeah. I mean, well, you know, but they used the original one they had, you know. Yeah, they did. It's been cool. ten years. Yeah. <laughs> it looks really good with the cow off, still. I think. I never realized the detail of like the seams waving back and forth, and it's kind of. A reverse flash. Yeah, yeah reverse he kinda flash, kind of has yeah. like this almost like vein-like corruption yeah. coming from his uh, his emblem. And then also like it goes black and then the, it slowly fades yeah. up to yellow. Gradients. I think that I like looks that. really great. That's why I don't really love the uh, the newest reverse flash one that we've had before. All right, well, that's last Q&A. Um, it was a fantastic episode, only part one of a four-part finale. If it keeps up with this... I will have been. I will have said. No, I like this. The first half was worth it. If I get, if it gets this if, quality, if they just keep with this, I'll be happy. Because yeah. my biggest worry was that we would go back more to what we've had in the first half of the season after the last episode. And yeah. I love the last episode yep. what they did. Yeah. But yeah. this one here had emotion where I cared. Mm-hmm. I got to see Barry doing things that he's. Yeah. You know, it's not just about like, oh, he just runs fast and you can punch him. And I never felt like, well, just run right now. What are you doing? You know. Like, he, he doesn't want to hurt Joe. So it makes sense why he's not trying to, yeah. like, punch him and hurt him and do damage to him, you know? Yeah. So everything they did in here made sense. And it's those kind of uh, 
methods where it's like, well, how do we solve this beatster who can dodge and just get you? Like, why can't he beat someone? It's mm -hmm. like, well, because he doesn't want to hurt his dad. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I, I, that's yeah. a good creative way to solve that. Agreed. All right. Um, I'm excited to see what they do with Keon and stuff in the future. So yeah. I, hope, I hope we also get some future stuff too. But I, I don't know. I'm excited for the Eddie stuff or not Eddie stuff. Whoever this dude is. The Gilmore stuff. Gilmore girl. Yeah. We need a poll for this episode. All right, guys. Poll for this week is going to be about this uh, not Eddie Thon. But do you know who, what, how this Eddie came to be? Yes or no? Yes, I do know, and here's my reason. I'm going to go down in the comments. No, I have no idea, and I'm really excited to read other people's ideas. <laughs> because that's how I am. I'm very excited to read your ideas. What could you be? Try to go outside the box. You're more likely to get read if it's completely different than everybody else. But Aaron, you think it's... it's like he dropped lasagna, and thus yeah. he in their dark room. slipped into a cosmic vagina and went to another Earth. And now he's just stuck here. and forgot, because he hit his head. Has an injury. Guys, thank you very much for watching this part one of the Flash finale with us. How many of you have been here since we started watching this in 2014? The end of season one. <laughs> yeah, the end of season one was our first reaction for this. Let us know, and we're so happy that you are also here to end the show with us. So, see you guys next week. Bye.